Hey guys, it's John and Isaiah. And we're here at Casey Farms. Brooklyn's still sleeping, but we got work to do, so we're gonna let hers keep sleeping. Um, we gotta get them ducks moved. They're making a mess of their area, so we're gonna show the ducks moving here in this video. So let's get going. <laughs> I want to show you what we're doing here. We have got the incubator full again. What are those? Bealey Felder eggs. Yeah, those are the Bealey Felder eggs. We were thinking about getting a new incubator because we haven't had much luck with this one, but we are going to give it one more try. We've got it inside here and uh, we're doing this getting close to winter time now. It's only 30 out this morning, but we want these guys to be close to lay by the time spring and summer get here so that's why we've got these 32 eggs in here excited to hatch these out we're thinking about using the um, extra roosters for some meat birds see how well those work for meat birds this year and uh, we're just trying to grow our Bielefelder flock a little bit so that's what we got going on in here so let's get bundled up and we'll head outside and get everyone else situated. All right, guys, Brooklyn has woken up and joined our group here. Here come the uh, other ducks over to see what's going on. But just wanna show you, these are our gold stars. We've done some videos about them already. We've got them in this net just to keep them safe and let them know where their home is at. And you can see their area is getting kind of messed up, so. The goal has always been to free range these guys. We're just waiting for the right time. We think that is now. So I got them. They've all eaten this morning already, which is good because I know these guys are going to come over here and probably eat what's left and not sure how they're going to react. I'm sure they'll be fine. These ones, the silver apple yards will be fine. I'm sure the gold stars will probably be scared of everything. So I'm gonna let them finish up eating their breakfast really quick. Um, we're gonna get some hay. I don't have any hay in the nesting boxes. So let's go get the hay first and then we'll let these guys out. All right, just a quick update on Betty the Bielefelder mama. Woo, almost fell over the fence. And her chicks, they have been in here the whole time. They are doing great. Chicks are doing well. They're still hiding under mama when they're cold. But she's been a good mama. They've been out a couple times. I don't know, she flew over and they went through the holes in the net, but they always come back in here. And uh, they're growing really well, so. We're excited to get some more Vila Felders. So just a quick update on them. So they still go in that nest every night. She had her nest up in between underneath that. So they're out of the weather and under mama, she's keeping them safe. So they are doing fantastic. So let's get this hay back to the nest boxes and then we will let the ducks go free. All right, well, egg production has been down a little bit. It's getting that time, but flock's still looking fantastic. 
Pigs are doing great in here with them. So hopefully a nice warm nesting box will uh, hopefully encourage a couple more eggs out of them. So we shall see. And it looks like uh, Zelly. Zelly, where are you? She's hiding under there. She's got a big chicken turd on her back again. You can tell who likes to sleep underneath the chicken coop. Either that or the, one of the chickens likes to sleep in the big house. Yep. All right, let's go get the uh, Welsomers and Easter Eggers. And then we will free the ducks. Another side note, still have not been attacked by a rooster. So that is good. All right, we'll be back later with pumpkins. These guys have laid about one egg in the last week and a half. So we're hoping they're just finishing up their molt. We know we're not gonna get a ton of eggs from them anyway this time of year, but it'll be nice to get a little bit more production once they're finished up molting here. Got Miss Small already in there checking out the new hay. Hopefully that will encourage them a little bit. I'm sure it doesn't really help, but it's nice to have it in there. Make sure we get clean eggs if they do lay. Here we got Boudreaux and Hazel and Cupcake. This video is not about you guys though. Let's go let those ducks free. Okay, I wish I could tell you this was gonna be a beautiful, majestic video of ducks going free. but it's probably gonna be more like a whole bunch of people screaming and running out of a burning building. Let's go get them out. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm not sure if this is gonna be permanent, but I'm just gonna open up half of that so in the mornings we can uh, close it up and feed them so the other ducks don't get in. We may take it all down eventually, but right now I'm gonna leave it just like that. So uh, if we need to block this off so they can get their feed, because they're still on a uh, chick starter and vitamin B and the larger ducks are on a layer pellet. So we're just gonna leave the fence like this for now they can go out that direction so uh, let's go uh, get them out here see how this works out
You guys go on that side over there. Isaac, come over on this side by, sis. So when they see you, they go the opposite way. I'm sure they're gonna stay close here for a little while. They know where home is and that's probably where they wanna be. So, uh, they are gonna be free ranging now. Most of our other animals, we call it safe ranging. We move them around, but we got the fences up to keep them safe from predators. I'm pretty sure these guys are big enough now that we shouldn't have issues with aerial attacks. And, uh, I don't want to scare them everywhere. But we will make sure they definitely go up at night and we'll lock them up like we do our other ducks. Whenever we have permanent structures like the two quack shacks, we definitely want them to be able to free range because you can see they have uh, started tearing this area up pretty good. They stick their bills in the ground to get worms and other insects that go yeah, so they made these little holes, which is fine. But we just want them to have some fresh ground. And uh, the ducks are like a little army. They go all over the farm, especially in the summer, picking up bugs and everything else in the grass. So it's good to have them out free ranging. Uh, we'll keep an eye on them just to make sure what they're doing, make sure the other ducks aren't bullying them but we're excited to finally have them out free range and they're probably scared to death, but they'll learn, they'll learn where to go and what's safe and what's not safe. And we'll keep a close eye on them for a while here. If you guys haven't, make sure you like, subscribe, and also check us out on Instagram and also Facebook. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video.